Bye. When Chief Etchberger was a young airman in the 1950s, he came to Keesler for his electronics and radar training. The chief's son, Corey Etchberger, said his family was thrilled and humbled to return to Keesler to honor his father's memory. So the fact that I could come and, on his behalf, uh, be part of this dedication is uh, a really great honor for our family. It's, um, you know, to know that airmen are going to walk by the street every time they go to training, and they'll be reminded of Dad, but also reminded of what it, what it really means to be an airman. 81st Training Wing Commander Brigadier General Patrick Higby said it's vital to acknowledge the heroic actions of past airmen because it gives Keesler's warriors of tomorrow a better sense of heritage. This is not only to honor Chief Etchberger and certainly his family and, and his uh, laying down his life for his comrades in a very dicey situation, but this is also to charge our future heroes that we're forging right here, the new airmen coming through training, learning their technical skills and their airmanship skills right here at Keesler Air Force Base. We use this opportunity to charge them 